Bloomberg Audio Studios. Podcasts, radio, news. Single best idea. And thank you for listening. I got a bit of the plague here, so we're going to keep this short again uh, today. But it's improving. I'm improving every day. Thank you to the good people. This podcast brought to you by the medical people of Wild Cornell here in New York uh, City. Great show today. I just want to point out Nancy Lazar was on. She's a legend. She's the Piper Sandler. Nancy Lazar helped invent modern market economics at C.J. Lawrence uh, years ago. And what's really nuanced, we're not going to play it for you, but what's really nuanced is Ed Yardeni is calling this maybe a roaring 20s where things are pretty darn good. And Nancy Lazar takes a very different tack. She agrees the roaring part of it's still there, but it could turn quickly and even in the second half of this year to much more of a slowdown. That's the kind of tension we want uh, to highlight amen, the many different voices we speak to on economics uh, and the rest as uh, well. Um, it really helps if we know the pedigree of our guests. Matt Hornbach came out of Vassar Economics and was the chosen one for Morgan Stanley to go to Japan and have the privilege of working with the iconic Robert Feldman. Uh, Robbie Feldman, who's been a wonderful supporter of this show, uh, is is the English-speaking voice of Japan. There's no other way to put it. And Matt Hornbach had a privileged uh, youth uh, within his broader interest rate strategy at Morgan Stanley of working with Robbie Feldman. Here is Matt Hornbach on the choice set of the Bank of Japan. The Bank of Japan has been very influential, but it's not just them. Of course, the commercial banks in Japan are hugely influential in that marketplace. And I can tell you right now what they're hoping for is similar to what other investors around the world are hoping for. They're hoping for the Bank of Japan to raise rates. They're looking to reinvest all of those deposits into higher yielding JGBs. And so everybody is on the same side of that market. They want higher rates. And that ultimately is something you need to be aware of. Matt Hornbach, just love that. Listen to the replay of the show today. There's some great conversations. And that'll be out in three, four hours here. Think 12 noon, 1 p.m. Uh, today, two hours and 56 minutes. It's a podcast, but it's a whole replay unedited of the show. And Hornbach was just brilliant on Japan and the effect across all of the uh, Pacific uh, Rim. This is the second time in, I believe, three days I've heard somebody I really, really respect bring up 1968. No, not Kareem and what Eric Clapton did with Disraeli Gears, but much more the political tone that we could see this summer in of the two conventions in Chicago. Wendy Schiller is at Brown University, and she made clear like many others, given the protests across America, could we see 1968 in Chicago again? If most people could remember 1968, which most people can't now. I mean, that's the issue, is that we just don't know our history well enough. But certainly the fact that the Democratic Party's convention is in Chicago, there will be protests and there will be a police response, no doubt, really gives people of a certain age a lot of shudders yeah. to think that this will give, just as it gave Richard Nixon the election in 68, that this will give Donald Trump the election. And I don't discount that possibility. So they're trying to prepare for that as best they can. Remember, you and I both know people over the age of 55, 60, they vote in the biggest numbers proportionally. So right. and they remember 68. Yes. So this is a real challenge yeah. for the Democratic Party coming this summer. Some of the uncertainty there set out by uh, Professor Schiller of Brown, whatever your political persuasion, her grasp of our history is just just absolutely uh, extraordinary. Our coverage of our politics, you'll see in many different formats. Of course, Joe Matthew and Kaylee Lyons leading Balance of Power. Amory Horton doing a wonderful job uh, with John and Lisa in the morning as well. I do want to point out the big take and look for David Gurra to ramp up his political coverage with a big take as we move to the conventions and on to the first Tuesday of uh, November. We're on Apple CarPlay. We're on Android Play. I really want to emphasize subscribe to Bloomberg Podcasts. Subscribe to Bloomberg Podcasts out on YouTube. We're building that out. We've, we're humbled by the, the growth of a nascent site, if you will, a new form of digital uh, distribution. And the way you can help us is to subscribe to Bloomberg Podcasts, and you'll see all of our work there. From New York City, single best idea.